everyone welcome back in my channel today hope you guys are doing well and definitely busy in your day to day life in the last video i i talked about the customization hope you like that video and now i'm creating another video on the on the steps for the process improvement again from the functional consultant point of view being a business analyst being a business process consultant being a functional consultant this question has been asked a number of time in the interview that atul how you are improving the processes what step you are following to improve the processes i am talking from the service now perspective but you can you can link these steps in your day to day projects as well so in this coming slide we are going to be discuss that what are the life cycle i'll say what are the methods what are the process what are the steps you can follow to establish a new process or preferably i say how to improve a process and being a consultant being a functional consultant being a business analyst being a business process consultant these points are actually required so let's start the discussion now so what service now recommend even even if you know from the itl perspective there is a term called came in the itl pdca plan do check and act then o o o d a also one of the term which has been given by by itl what service now say start improve and optimize on the top you can see start improve and optimize in the bottom you can see what should be the goal you have in your mind know the straight points sorry know you know your starting point that from where you have to be start this is the big this is the biggest point if in 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 the interviews if someone asks that okay tell me the process that how you can make a make improvement in the process we we'll start okay we need to be identify the gaps but that is not a step number 1 no you should know your starting point that from where you have to be start it means you have to be have some baseline remember the word customization or i can say remember the word custom development in our previous video which we discuss custom development says that you are building something on the baseline business rules that is your starting point then identify and prioritize the opportunity you have to be identify yes i can 100% say this is purely from the consulting perspective you have to be identify and the prioritize the opportunities in the upcoming slides we are going to be discuss that what are the techniques which we can use to identify and you can prioritize and at last decide on and design the process improvement don't delay further once you get opportunity once you get a gap build it what service now says assess the existing process what to do in that part we're going to be discuss in the next slide but this is my starting point this is my start here assess the existing process it means i am talking something about the as is here identify the process improvement opportunity atul it is a very big term identify process improvements opportunity i am from the itel background i have a lot of experience but still not able to identify the process improvement opportunities this slides the upcoming slides will give you the little bit in depth knowledge about the same design the process improvements identify the gap then design that how you can make the process improvement i'm not saying that deploy it no just design it then plan the future process improvement opportunity that how in the future you can get more opportunities and number 5 continually identify process improvement opportunity you have to be do something continuously so that you can identify the gaps opportunities and last build a process for the improvement culture it should not like once in a blue moon you are starting the work and you are improving the process no it should be a culture like if the students the kids get exam every week in the class that is a culture they are building for the final exams so that the students should not face any issue when they are going for the final exams 
so let's discuss some depth in these topics and this is which i got from the service now docs some something from my my previous experience as well so maybe it is not 100% right at your side but you can modify if and when required so these are the six points which we are going to be discussed now in depth so number one point say assess the existing process so what we have to be do the problem is that being a consultant we start directly to identify the gaps instead of to be ensuring that who is the process owner we have to be define the process ownership that is very much a requirement until less you will not give the ownership and when i say the ownership i'm talking about the accountability from the rasi perspective i'm not saying it's a responsible no i'm saying it's accountability here so define the process ownership in this part what we have to be do as a consultant as a business analyst as a itel expert as a process expert as a process practitioner ensure clear ownership of the core processes we call here as a process owner in itel we have a term process owner process practitioner process manager so the first point says you have to be clearly defined that who is owning the core processes who is owning the incident who is owning the change who is owning the who is owning the problem who is owning the request who is owning the knowledge management then define the process ownership responsibility and authorities that what he can he need to be do and for what he is the accountable authority you are giving the authority he can he is the right person to remove update delete anything on the document or not or in the in the process or not then the third point says communicate process on responsibility to the senior leaders generally the process fail the improvement plans fail because people think that it is a over burden to update the documents yes i agree it is a burden the reason is being because we did not follow the right approach i said okay you are my process owner go and start working on the document he is not working because he is not getting the support from the top management then in this case we have to be clearly tell that who is the process owner with the responsibility and tell to the senior leaders that we need your support in this process to improvement of the goals once you done this part then start the map existing processes very important map how specific process chain together to support the business outcome you have to be see you have to be identify that how this process with the collaboration of the other process is giving me a business value or the business outcome work with the process owner or owners to build as is process map so here the second point this is the second step come it is still in the assess only i'm not i'm not going the th- second part i'm still in the second first step only so here you start working with the as is process building run a process review exercise with the process owner being a being a business process consultant lead it is my responsibility to set up a call weekly maybe bi weekly monthly quarterly a call with my process owner to run through to review the processes and what parameters have to be considered what is your current baseline like same thing which i am which i am again coming baseline is very much important in the service now we have a concept in the cmdb service cmdb baseline or the snapshots this is what i'm talking here what is the baseline on which you are going to be build or going to be improve the stuff what can where can be consolidated and streamlined hands off between teams individual and the system where you are placing all the collaboration documentation recordings places meetings notes where you are placing the placing that part where are we collecting unnecessary data in the as is process you have to be find out that what are the steps which is un i i'll i can say or maybe maybe i can say we have to be see that in the process cycle where is the unnecessary data i am getting from the different parties where are we seeing the longest cycle time that why this particular thing taking a long time why approval is taking a lot of time in the knowledge article person is not good in english the article in the some other languages formatting is not bad no standard format kind of things we have to be find out where do we have a gap in the standard arrangements 
I give you one example. When when I was working as a change manager, one day there's an audit has been happened in my in my team. That person was a very highly qualified. That time he was 17, 18 years experience guy. He says, Atul, I want to be attend your cab meeting. I said, okay, no problem, boss. You can attend. I prepared the agenda. I shared the agenda with my 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 representatives. And next day we have a uh, cab meeting. Cab went well. Then he says, Atul, there's a very very loopholes in your process. I said, but I did not find it. He says, number one, show me your cab agenda. I showed him. He says, in your agenda, you don't have any specific way of change presentation. I said, what do you mean by the change presentation? You have to be present your changes in a priority level or the risk level. Risk high, medium and low or P1, P2, P3, P4. You are discussing the P4 one, the P4 change on the first point, which is taking a lot of time, which is not required that part. That was the gap he identified for me. The reason it's taking a lot of time. The cab runs more than one hour. But when I, from the next to next week, when I started the implementing the same thing, cab completed within that time period. This is what to be identified. He says, why are you putting a lot of low level changes? Don't put. Get a buying from the, from the change requester. Is it low level? It is a proven record. Remove it. No need to be bring each, each and every change in the cab meeting. This is what is the unnecessary collecting of the data. It is unnecessary creating a lengthy agenda for me. Then the third step says identify process improvement opportunity. The area where we actually fall. It says work with the process owner to build the process maps. The step which is come from here and compare your as is to the to be process. Here you have to be find out. Here being a business analyst, being a consultant, being a business person's consultant, I have to be see that what value I am driving, what value I am, I'll, I'll say, what desired value I'm looking for when the process has been improved so that you can compare the as is and the to be processes. You have to be identified the exact gaps which can be parameterized on these parameter, on these things. Find out unnecessary data collection. Find out the longest life cycles. Then it will be easy for you. Once you've done that part, then we can go for the select the processes for the improvements. Maybe I can say in incident management, I have a as is and going to be to be, I have a 20 points to be rectified. Then I have to be think, I have to be prioritize. In, in service, now there's a new module has been introduced by service now ranking with the spotlight. The best example of that. Service now a new module called the process optimization. You can use this particular options there. So when you're prioritizing, we have to be take care of these five or six elements. Are these ident are these gaps is simple to implement. Means just few changes, it will be done. Are the low risk changes? If I make any change in my process, it is a low risk or a high risk. We have to be identified. We have to be see again. You can you can go back to the customization video and you can see that business value and the complexity. Then you can compare it. The third point says involve few rows in hand of the process decision. Only few people required when I make a change. A lot of people create immediate efficiency for the user. If I make a change today. Will be giving benefit from tomorrow or not, and would deliver the highly visible improvements. Again, I put the same context here, guys. Business value versus your complexity value. If you are seeing the more business value, go ahead for the improvement, and then design the process improvement. And here I will, I would like to be introduced the service now specifically. Work with the process owner to decide whether out of the box options are available or not again this this particular this particular session this particular knowledge area help us to be start from the scratch or to be start from the in between somewhere if i want to be migrate or to transform so what service now say design the process improvements i'm talking on the third point now let's see that if customer say i want a new changes the process need to be improved can i fulfill that changes via out of the box functionality if yes, 
then good to go if no we have to be see what else we can do so the second point say connect the platform owner with the process owner generally what happened being a process guy i take a decision from the everybody perspective that is wrong because i have a perspective from only and only from the from the process side i have no perspective from the technical side or the platform side so let put a handshake of these two different parties here then plan the future process improvement you have to work closely i not the word you even including me as well being a consultant we have to work closely with the process owners and now you have to be make a road map that how this development can be done in a phase wise phase wise 1 2 3 4 if you see from my experience i can say i never saw a customer who says i want to be go live with the call service now module in a one go no every customer say let's go with the incident first then change then problem then request then knowledge then improve the cmdb put hcm put sam put item why because they know that going in a one go can be harmful let's go the phase road map approach in my one of the video in the in the best practices i would i say project implementation best practices i say never eat the whole cake in a one go it can you cannot digest that so better to go for the phases wise prioritize the process improvement plans in your road map based on how much business value again guys remember the customization part business value is required and then take a stability and the speed on the top once you done that part then you can develop a system to the continuous improvement this part i'm on the step number 5 now now once you start this process you have to be set up some kpis you have to be set up sub cfs critical success, sorry csf critical success factor key performance indicators to measure that is that changes has been done successfully and people are getting benefit or not only then you can do that part so measure or monitor consolidate and create a report and measure the process on a continuous improvement efforts then under this the same step refocus on the creating the business value we have to be see that how much i can more value give to the business by making more changes in the process i am not saying when i say process i'm just not talking about the iter process i'm talking about the process with the collaboration of the service now tool as well here and at the last it say build a process improvement culture foster an organizational and the culture focus on the process to support business outcome you have to build the culture that people should come forward hey it is not working let's improve the process i remember that earlier days if i need to be re- get some reimbursement i have to be fill the form put in the drop box then it go to some other office get signed and then get reimbursement but now it's all automatic go to the portal upload the screenshots done make continuous process improvement on the organizational mandate make it as a mandate on the organizational level that is the reason we have a quality assurance team i am qms teams are available in every company who is working on these area and finally it's a integrate the process improvement activities with the organizational governance on the company level let's make it mandatory and use that part So this is from my side on this particular video for the process improvement steps. Hope you like this video. If you like, please show me your love or some guidance, some feedback on the comment section. Subscribe my channel if you did not subscribe. Like and share. Share with your friends and families. Till that time, have a nice day, guys. We'll see you again in some other video. Take care. Bye bye.